10% chance of showers today, but a 70% chance of flu next month. That's the kind of forecasting health scientists are trying to move toward. So we're going for something where we could say there's a 50% uh, chance that in five weeks we're going to be at the peak of the flu outbreak in New York City, let's say. Such disease modeling got some attention recently when Jeffrey Shaman, a researcher at Columbia University, and another scientist said they could predict when flu season was going to peak in New York more than seven weeks in advance. Theirs is just the latest in a growing wave of disease models that factor in rainfall, temperature, or other weather conditions. The idea really is we're not using a weather model. We're using the techniques that they use in weather prediction. Diseases can be forecast by using statistical and mathematical models which simulate disease transmission in the population. That also involves observing searches for information on various diseases. They can actually do a... Um, a uh, very localized uh, Google-based tool where they take information from a community and predict how much influ influenza is spread in that community. Some diseases like the flu are more predictable than others. Diseases for which we know the mode of transmission or for how many days the duration of illness is are easier to forecast and easier to model. Recently, health officials advised that flu season is off to its earliest start in 10 years, with the highest activity in five southern states. But experts note disease outbreaks are influenced as much by human behavior and other factors as by the weather. And that weather-based outbreak prediction still has a long way to go. Marina Hutchinson, The Associated Press.